Hey everybody, it's Cam for Titani, and today we have a just breaking news video for you guys. The Nexus Prime was just announced, just released from Google's uh, Ice Cream Sandwich video, uh, Samsung Unpacked video, all kind of combined um, event in Hong Kong. They just released the Nexus Prime, they released Ice Cream Sandwich, they set, just announced a ton of stuff, so I'm just going to jump right into it. So... The Nexus Prime is just come out, and it is a lot like we expected. Basically, everything that we had predicted came true. So, the Nexus Prime has a 4.65 inch Super AMOLED display at a resolution of 720 by 1280, with 316 pixels per inch. So, very high density, almost as high as the iPhone 4 and 4S's legendary 326 pixels per inch. So a very high pixels per inch display, and it is 4.65 inch um, in size from diagonal. So a very, very huge screen. The device also has a dual core 1.2 gigahertz processor. It is a TIO map, 14, 4,460, so 14, 460. Um... So a very, uh, a presumably good processor. It's the same processor that was in the uh, announced today Droid Razor, which um, is also a brand new phone that just came out today. So we don't really know how this processor performs yet. It is not the Exynos CPU that we've been used to seeing in these in the Samsung Galaxy S2 classes devices. So a new CPU, dual core, 1.2 gigahertz, Power VR SGX 540 graphics, which we have also seen in the Droid Razor and not the Samsung Galaxy S devices. So another new graphics chip in there as well. Just one thing to note, it is a Super AMOLED display, not a Super AMOLED Plus display. So just a thing there, um, it's not Super AMOLED Plus, they just cannot get Super AMOLED Plus at that pixel resolution yet. So it's just Super AMOLED, but I'm sure that that will not disappoint either. So this device has a LTE in some um, like versions of it. There's going to be multiple versions of the device, some with um, HSPA Plus and some with LTE, and it really depends on where you are. It is 8.49 millimeters thick, so very thin device. It is curved, as we knew was going to happen. Not as curved as we thought, but it is just a little bit curved, so that's a nice thing about it too. Uh, the buttons are all on the screen, so there is no more um, uh, capacitive buttons, and there's no more buttons that are hard at the bottom, like hardware buttons. So it's all it's all on-screen buttons. And as we saw in their video that they just showed off, it is a very uh, good way of doing it. Like they can show, they can push the push the buttons off the screen when you're watching video, and just show them when you need them. And they just seem like a very a very smart way of doing it. And it also allows for a very nice video experience and according to the hands-on by the guys over at The Verge they said that even though the device is a 4.65 inch screen 6.5 screen it is not, does not feel as big because all that area that's normally taken up by buttons at the bottom of Android phones is now dedicated entirely to, to the display so that is a nice way of doing it there that we're not seeing a massive phone but it is definitely quite large at 4.65 inches um, NFC is built in. It's 135 grams in weight. Uh, let's just see here. Uh, I'll give you dimensions. It is 135.5 millimeters tall by 67 millimeters wide, 67.94 millimeters wide by 8.94 millimeters thick. So there are your dimensions. Pretty good. As I did say, it is rocking Android Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0, which just got released, and there's all sorts of talk about that, and I may do a whole separate video just on Ice Cream Sandwich, because there's a lot to talk about in there. Overall, the device seems like a pretty, like, it's not a letdown, it's definitely seems pretty bang on, perfect. The only couple things that are definitely to complain with is it only is a 5 megapixel camera. And it does shoot 1080p video, but it is not an 8 megapixel camera like some other new devices. So, sort of weird that it's 5, considering that most Galaxy S2 class, all Galaxy S2 class devices so far are 8 megapixel. I don't know why Google went with 5, if it was a cost issue, if they thought it was more important to have the faster shutter lag than the higher resolution pictures. Not sure, but I'm sure it does take good pictures as well. The back of the device has what they're calling the new hyperskin coating. So it is sort of like a 
Um, it's the same stuff that was on the Galaxy S2, but apparently even more improved. It's like little sort of like grippy, um, textured plastic on the back. So that is a new feature they're calling Hyperskin Coating, which is a very nice name. Um, overall, the device does look very cool. We found out that there is going to be a specialized uh, pogo pin dock for it, and that's what those three dock connector things on the side were for. It has a power button on the side, has micro USB on the bottom, has 3.5 millimeter headphone jack out on the bottom. No HDMI out. I presume, like other Galaxy S2 class devices, you can use MHL. Um, ice cream sandwich does look very cool. As I said, there's a front facing 1.3 megapixel camera. Comes in 16 and 32 gigabyte options. Uh, la 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 la. What other awesome features are there here? There is this new face unlock feature they've been talking about where you can unlock the device with your face by looking at it. In their demo, it actually failed, which was pretty uh, not the best demo because as soon as they brought it up, the demo just failed. So that is not the best. But yeah, I, I bet you that like it probably will. They'll get it working better, and I'm sure that it will work better after they've you know worked out all the kinks, but it still seems like a novelty sort of gimmick at the moment. Um, as I said, Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 is totally revamped. They've changed the whole OS. I'm going to have another video going up just about Ice Cream Sandwich because it is there's tons of new stuff in here. They've, they've got a new font called Roboto that they're saying really is a much nicer font. They've got a new design language. They're doing some new stuff with a lot of the apps they've revamped. So just a lot, there's a lot here, definitely. And there's a lot to talk about. Uh, the name is Galaxy Nexus, so not Nexus Prime. I have to say Nexus Prime does sound cooler, but I'm sure Ga um, Samsung wanted the Galaxy branding in there. And Galaxy Nexus sounds pretty awesome. No release dates, no pricing. All they said <coughs> was it will be coming out in November, early November, uh, worldwide. So hopefully we'll be grabbing our version in Canada pretty fast. If it's not coming to Canada, I will be getting one from AT&T and rocking it up here, as I'm sure there will be an unlocked one I can grab. But I'm pretty sure that there will be a version in Canada. My only question is, will they have an LTE Canadian model, which would be awesome. So that's been Can for Tectania doing a quick rundown of the Nexus Prime. There'll be more coverage on Ice Cream Sandwich, all kinds of stuff that Google released at their new event today. I'm sure there'll be lots of videos coming out about it hands-on from other big tech blogs that are in Hong Kong right now covering the event. Lots to talk about. Lots of comparisons to do. There is going to be lots of news coming out. So, Cam for Tectanian. I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been me talking about the Galaxy Nexus. Adios, amigos.